The rush to build wind farms to combat climate change is colliding with the preservation of one of the U.S. West's most spectacular predators, the golden eagle. The species teeters on the edge of decline. Our next report getting you the complete story. Take a look. Wyoming is home to the golden eagles that soar on seven-foot wings and a favored location for wind farms. As wind turbines proliferate, scientists say death from collisions could drive down golden eagle numbers, considered stable at best and likely to drop in some areas. Yet climate change looms as a potentially greater threat. The National Audubon Society says rising temperatures are projected to reduce golden eagle breeding ranges by more than 40 percent later this century. That leaves golden eagles doubly vulnerable to the shifting climate and to the wind energy promoted as a solution to that warming world. Well, I think we're faced with a race against time, and that is with climate change being so acute and how serious it seems to be. Um, as well as trying to obtain as many renewable energy projects as possible. Um, we still want to balance that against not losing um, endangered populations or threatened populations or species of special concern um, like golden eagles. Turbine blades hundreds of feet long are among myriad threats to golden eagles, which are routinely shot, poisoned by lead, hit by vehicles and electrocuted on power lines. Golden eagles, as they're flying toward a turbine, they don't necessarily perceive this distance, this gap between the, uh, the turbine blades. And so as they're flying through uh, and the turbine is spinning, it strikes the eagle. Conservationists at the Teton Raptor Center are trying to study the golden eagle to understand where the decline is coming from. Part of what we're doing as scientists is trying to understand where uh, the, the decline is coming from, whether it is a, uh, uh, a reduced reproduction, increased mortality, probably both to some extent, but to identify those factors and find ways to mitigate or minimize uh, problems with the golden eagles. Golden eagles do not meet until about five years old and produce about one chick every two years. So adult eagle deaths have outsized impacts on the population. According to U.S. Geological Survey data, the number of wind turbines nationwide more than doubled over the past decade to almost 72,000. As far as potential solutions goes, um, you know, there probably really is no silver bullet, but there are several options that can be pursued, um, one of which is really looking at how eagles use the landscape, uh, particularly before you build a wind farm. Um, that information can then be used to um, site wind turbines carefully and outside of high eagle use areas. To control the impact on eagles, federal officials want companies to obtain permits that allow them to kill some birds if deaths are offset. Companies then pay utilities to retrofit power poles so eagles can't be easily electrocuted. Every 11 poles retrofitted typically counts as an eagle death avoided. 34 permits across the United States last year authorized companies to take 170 golden eagles, meaning that many birds killed by turbines or lost through impacts on nests or habitat. The nests where conservationists are doing population studies are about 96 kilometers from the nearest farm. Personnel on site scan the skies with binoculars for eagles and can shut down turbines when they approach. One thing that I think is very encouraging is that the energy companies, uh, these wind energy companies, many of them are working very closely with scientists to, to look at ways to minimize uh, any problems with wildlife, not just golden eagles, but wildlife in general, and mitigate where they can, mitigate losses. Federal officials have tried to curb turbine deaths while avoiding any slowdown in the growth of wind power as an alternative to carbon-emitting fossil fuels, a key piece of President Joe Biden's climate agenda. Bureau report, We On, World is One. We On, now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.